Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering us today as a Damian family to honor the accomplishments of our young men and women. As we recognize their achievements, we ask that their example may inspire us in our own lives and endeavors. Help us to use all the gifts and talents you've given us to the best of our ability, that we may glorify you in all that we do. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Damien, blessed is the Christ, live Jesus in our hearts. A St. Francis graduate. They scraped and they sacrificed to be able to send me to St. Teresa and to Damien. I know it was hard for them. Back in 1977, I had a pretty nondescript high school career. I did well academically. I ran track. I ran cross country. I was in clubs. I was a part of junior achievement. And it was because of my Damien experience that I was able to earn an Air Force ROTC scholarship, which allowed me to go to any college on the, in, the, in the United States. I chose Georgia Tech. I graduated as a civil engineer. I started my career in the Air Force expecting only to give four years to the Air Force. Here I am, 27 years later. It's the integrity that you have. It's who you are when no one's watching. If you don't maintain your character, you will not be a good, if not a great leader. Character is so crucial. I can tell you that my time at Damien, the values that we were instilled with, the courage that we were asked to perform, that character, those seeds of character were instilled in me here in these halls at Damien. The second C, confidence. If you don't have confidence in yourself, how can you expect anyone else to? Confidence is that feeling about yourself that if you're able to project confidence and believe in yourself, other people will believe in you. And as a leader, you will need to instill confidence in the people that you lead. I know the teachers, the coaches, the staff challenge you on a daily basis. But they challenge you for a reason. They challenge you because they want to build a soft, confident young man and young woman. They challenge you because they want you to be the best. They want you to believe in yourself. You will not be able to come across as a leader. Communication is so crucial. I remember the faculty at Damien hammering us for four years with vocabulary. I remember having to study, memorize words that meant nothing to me at the time. Using it in a sentence. Being able to put it together. Do you know those words that we had on a daily basis? The fourth C, challenge. Doors will open up for you, whether academically, athletically, community service, whatever they may be. I would submit to you, open the door every time it's presented to you. You will be challenged. Never shirk from the challenge. Is it harder? Sure. But we go back to the confidence that was instilled in you. If you have the confidence, there is no challenge that you should shirk from. Open every door that comes your way. Opportunities present themselves in, in numerous ways. You may not understand it. You may be afraid of it. But that challenge is something that will make you stronger and make you a better leader in the long run. The last C, compassion. How you treat others is so crucial as a leader. It is so crucial to treat people right. 
And there is no finer example for compassion than our patron saint, St. Damien. When I was going to school in 1977, St. Damien, Father Damien, had yet to be canonized, had yet to be beatified, had yet to be venerated. We all knew what he did. But it took the church decades later to recognize his contributions to our fellow man. So when it comes to compassion as a leader, there is no finer example than our patron saint. And I hope you draw strength from him. I'm glad if opportunities are presented to you. You may not understand it, you may not embrace it, but they will be, full, they will be given to you. And it's so crucial that again, if you practice these five principles, character, confidence, communication, challenge, and compassion, there is no doubt in my mind that you will be a great leader. Let me thank you for the opportunity again to be with you this morning. Be proud of this school. Be proud of your school. It may appear to be daunting. It may appear to be challenging. You may scratch your head and wonder, what the heck am I doing? You may ask, why are the coaches doing this to me? You may wonder, why are the teachers making me do this? Let me tell you, after 36 years, the lessons that I learned from this school, the insights that I drew from this school, the seeds of character, confidence, communication, challenge, and compassion, those seeds were instilled in me here at this school. I am proud to be a Damien Memorial School graduate. I tout that. <laughs> Let me leave you with this. Damien Memorial School, 36 years. In Hawaii, people, people on Maine never understood this. When you're asked the question, where did you go to school? It's not where you went to college. It's not where you got your master's or your PhD from. It's where you went to high school. People on Maine didn't understand that. But it's what defines us here in Hawaii. And I guarantee you, it has defined me. When people ask me, what school did you go to? There is no hesitation when I say proudly, with chest stuck out, shoulders upright, Damien Memorial School. May God bless each and every one of you. Whatever you do in your life, Wherever you end up, whatever you choose to do, be proud of your heritage here at Damien Memorial School. Understand that it has prepared, prepared you and will open doors for you that right now you may not understand. Be proud, be proud, be proud to be a monarch. God bless you all. Congratulations. Good job, Carlo. Carlo, congratulations. I'll stay on this side. Cassandra Block. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Cassandra. Grayson Bueno. Well done. Emily Burr. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job, well done. Bianca Dendro. Congratulations. Thank you. Joseph Surrey. Thank you. 
Sarlan Cahill. Congratulations, Bianca. Number 17, first honors. Daniel Gustavo. Damien Gannaron. Congratulations. Congratulations. Adrian Lazaro. Congratulations. David Tuitama. And Chris Wolfgang. Adrian, congratulations. For a song. David, congratulations. Congratulations. 17, second honors. Please stand and be recognized. Ashton Kurosu. Class of 2018. Dominic, congratulations. Michael Labors. Nico, congratulations. Josiah Medal. Austin, congratulations. 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 Offer congratulations. 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 Class of 2018, first honors. Congratulations. <laughs> Ezra Ingersoll. Congratulations. Kerry Simenez. Congratulations. Lono Kyalao. Congratulations. congratulations. Justin. Bayros, congratulations. Matthew Polino. Congratulations. And Jansen Saribe. Class of 2018 for a song. Matthew, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Class of 2018, second honor. Please rise and be recognized. Rosemary Uncle Willie. Ilea. Class of 2019. President's List, Harold. Congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. Ashley Tiana Aina. Desiree, congratulations. Janice Manzano. Congratulations. And Chris Ashley, congratulations. President's List, 2019. Yeah. Congratulations. 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 William Bagley. Congratulations. Haley Bernard. Joshua Baisa. William, congratulations. Thanks. Ian Bento. Congratulations, Haley. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Christian. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Good job, Ryan. Congratulations. 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 Also, congratulations. Congratulations. Heather Lynn. Congratulations. Josiah, congratulations. Congratulations, Heather. Congratulations. Michaela Bin. Patrick Belloni. Congratulations. Aston Murakami. Congratulations. Nathaniel Bush. Congratulations. George Nemeth. Rene Nilo. 
Congratulations. George, congratulations. Mario Castro. Okay, congratulations. Justin Pay Este. Congratulations. Congratulations. Joy Pichardo. Congratulations. Congratulations. Rihanna Palmira. Congratulations. Kelsey Pereira. Congratulations. Jamie Quinez. Congratulations. Connor Villarreal. Congratulations, President List. Congratulations. 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 Class of 2016, first honors. Again, please hold your applause. Kimberly Aguada. Congratulations. Adrian Ejida. Brandon Galai. Darius Gavatero. Brandon, congratulations. Justin Herodias. Congratulations. Chantal Kahava. Good job, Darren. Darren, congratulations. Sandra Viva. Justin, congratulations. Chantal, congratulations. May Rowe. Joseph Ryle. Sandra, congratulations. Dominic Souza. May, congratulations. Congratulations. Theresa Tran. Congratulations. Melanata Bahia. Congratulations for others. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Second honors, please stand. Lastly, Bryson Tanakawa. Congratulations. 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 Second honor stand. Please stand and remain standing. Joseph Agab. Retire the colors.
it was a very enriching experience, honestly. Um, I got to learn more about what we possibly could be because as a cadet right now, you think that you can't make that much of a difference, but being able to see uh, Major General there in front of you that actually came from Damien, who went through the ROTC experience, it gives you hope that you can be more than the cadet you are right now.